Hello. Today, we've come back to a classroom to learn hand tracking for Seto Corsa. If you've seen my last video, right there, you may be wondering, hey, why doesn't it work properly? Well, I'm going to show you, okay? We have to remake the video because Virtual Desktop <laughs> went and updated their program and broke hand tracking for Seto. So, here we go. We're here in Hand Tracking 101, and I am Professor Dickies. Let's start over here with the alternate method. I can't get this to work for myself, but that's why I'm teaching it. Because those who can't do, teach. OpenXR Toolkit plus Open Composite equals W. What does that mean, huh? Well, I've left the links in the description for Open XR Toolkit as well as Open Composite. And on top of that, I've left you a guide to teach you how to use hand tracking in this most lovely free way. But I can't get it to work for myself. So I'm not going to show you how to do it because then it wouldn't work for you either because obviously I'm fucking something up. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do if you can't get that to work. The things you need are a Quest 2, might work on the Quest 3, I don't have one, I can't try this. We're going to show you how to activate hand tracking on the Quest 2. Go! Yes, I'm going, I'm going. We've stuffed our heads into a scrumptious little headset, but we want the hand tracking features enabled. Settings. Movement tracking. Oh, look at that, it's right there. Hand and body tracking. On. Enable. Video can go away. Toss your baby controllers over there and look what we have now. Our beautiful, fully grown man hands. Perfect. It's beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Perfect. The next step is content manager. I'm not going to show you how to get Content Manager. You should already all have it as well as Custom Shaders Patch. But I will show you how to activate the hand tracking features inside of Content Manager. Here we go. Okay, now we're here in Content Manager virtually. <laughs> yes, and we want the hand tracking features. So we're in settings. We're going to go to Custom Shaders Patch. We're going to scroll on down. Mode Tweaks VR, there it is. And now, move driver model hands with controllers, yes please. Render controller, no. No. Mirror integration, yes. Car integration, sure. No. I'm not going to use UI integration. You can if you want, but I'm going to show you exactly why I don't. Okay, here we go. Let's get something open. Get over there. I'm not actually clicking. It thinks I'm clicking. Oh my god. Come on now. No. No. Uh, come here, you m stupid son of a bitch. Why are you open? Grab it. No, no. Damn you. Son of a. Uh, oh my god. Uh, come on. I'm not. No. No. Uh, no. Okay, now that that step is done, we're moving on to Virtual Desktop. You're going to want to purchase this for the Quest inside of the Quest Store. Do not buy it on Steam. It will not work. You hear me? No Steam versions of Virtual Desktop allowed. This is what it's going to look like when you buy it. Okay, Cindy Lou, stick your head into your Quest 2. Search Virtual Desktop on the MetaQuest Store, okay? And look at that. Click there, uh, we'll view it in the store so you can see that it is 25 Canadian dollars, okay? That's 25 loonies, people, all right? American, it might be 14 cents. I don't know. Something like that, okay? That's it. Buy it. And we'll go back to class. Perfect. We've almost made it. The next and final step is going to be downloading SideQuest just like this. A very simple step here. SideQuest. Google it. Uh, we're going to click on Get Side Quest. And we want the advanced installer so we can install APKs directly to our headset. Hmm, yummy. Alright, download, install. If you need some help, click here. 
There's a lovely lady who will teach you, okay? I'm not gonna do it. After that, you're done, kid. And then, using the link in the description, we are going to downgrade Virtual Desktop back to 1.26.6. Here it goes. So give the downgrade link a big old fat click, okay? And you're gonna end up right here. We wanna scroll down until we find 1.26.6. There it is, look at that. Then you're gonna click assets here so you can see we want virtual desktop dot android dot quest dot apk. Yes, we want that for sure. You're gonna download that, put it on a you know, like a folder on your desktop so you can get to it quickly and easily, okay? As well as virtual desktop dot streamer dot setup dot exe, okay? These are the two files we need to complete our most righteous task, okay? Go! So now that we have the file, we need to sideload it via side quest and jam it in the side of our Oculus Quest. Do you understand? This is how you do it right here. Okay, so now in order to move on with the side loading and continue our epic quest of downgrading, we must remove our most superior version of virtual desktop because it does not work with hand tracking the way we need so uninstall this smelly old program click it yes. okay now that that's uninstalled we've traveled through the quantum space and we're finally here in side quest on our pc to sideload this bitch right into our quest okay so open up Install APK file from folder on computer, navigate to wherever you save the lovely APK and streamer setup app, click on the APK, and then you're gonna click open, okay? I've already done this, so I won't be doing it. So I'm gonna say cancel, but you're gonna say open, okay? And when you do, it's going to start installing, and you'll see it down here. And then when it's done, it's time to install the streamer app as well so we can finalize this stupid shit and be done with it okay open up the folder again and double click on the streamer setup now it may say we have a new version do you want to install that you say no i don't want it give me 1.26.6 damn you and then it installs and we're done okay yes oh yes perfect we finished all the steps and we now have working hand tracking. But how do you make it look nice, you might ask? Well, I'll show you my tips. Starting with the eye positioner app thingy-mabob. It's right here. Okay, because I've turned off the UI integration for my hand tracking, because I find it impossible to use properly, it actually makes it quite difficult to open up app windows inside of the game, okay? That's why we're going to come to Assetto Corsa Settings, scroll down to App Window, and it's going to show you this. Now, this gives you four visible displays, or desktops, they call them, for whatever reason. And this makes it so you can already have apps open. You can switch between them once we bind a button, which we'll do after this. So, for our purposes, we're going to add Driver Eyes Positioner onto our first visible desktop. Click the check mark, and then we're going to bind the button, and we'll show you what all this means, okay, afterwards. Controls now. Go to System. Scroll down to UI, right here, Next Desktop. Bind this to a button. I have it on my wheel, but I suppose you could use a keyboard if you so desire, all right? But then, this is another thing you're probably going to want. If you don't already have it, reset camera in VR, I would suggest binding this with a modifier so you don't accidentally press it all the time and reset your camera. Okay, now let me show you in-game what I mean. Okay, so we've entered the game and our head is clearly in the wrong position. See this? I'm in a weird spot here. I can see the inside of my neck and my head seems to be missing. So, we're going to press our magical recenter VR camera button. That we bound, click it, look at that, there we go. You might have to click it a couple times and turn your head right until you, uh, you know, end up in the middle. Just play around with that. And then, now is when we use the driver eye positioner. But let me show you, when we try to click the, the, the UI here, oh, oh, it did open. Okay, let's try, where is it, first person camera, where are you? 
Yeah, oh, I can't even scroll. Look at that. The scroll doesn't work. And look, I, I'm clicking. I can't open any of these with my mouse because we turned off the UI integration, which for some reason breaks the mouse as well. Okay, so that's why we used our next display thingy majig, and we already set up our first person camera on one of our displays. There we go. So we have it now, and we can fine tune. We can do all the adjustments that we require to sit in the most delicate spot possible. Look at that, my hands are on the wheel. It's beautiful. Eh, it's not perfect, but it's beautiful, isn't it, okay? Moving on. Okay, now, it's pretty much perfect, isn't it? But some of you may need to change the world scale in your Steam VR settings to shrink down the size of the wheel so your hands are in the appropriate location. I'm going to show you that real quick, and then we're going to get out of here and go to lunch, okay? So, the last thing I want to show you is the world scale, okay? This isn't for everybody. I use it because I have a Logitech G920 right now, and the wheel diameter is quite small, which makes it hard to line up your hands on the wheel in the proper position, okay? So if you're having trouble with that, if you feel like the in-game wheel is too big, we can go into our Steam VR settings and shrink it down using world scale, okay? Let me show you. We're here, we're in video settings for Assetto Corsa. Uh, oh no, per application settings, go in there. Now we're here for Assetto Corsa. Scroll down, override world scale, would you look at that? I have mine set to 90%, because you don't want to go too crazy with this, all right? If you do too much, it's gonna look really freaking strange, all right? So give it a try if you need a little bit of fine tuning with the wheel size. It might not help you, it might help you. Check it out. Perfect. We've done it. That should be the last time I ever need to make this video because now we have the old version of Virtual Desktop that we can always sideload into our Quest 2 forever. Okay? It might be annoying, it might auto-update sometimes, but you can always downgrade it again, okay? Get your hand tracking back. Perfect. I'm getting out of here. I love you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.